break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Amen, amen. Yes, thank you so much. Happy Easter to all of you who are far and near. Happy Easter. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen. Yeah, in French we call, we say, there is a saying that we say in, in, in French, Il est vivant. It means he. Yes, means he has he, he has risen, he has raised, uh, and when you when you answer you say, uh, uh, he, he's alive. He has raised. We say he's alive, and you answer, he has raised. Hallelujah, he's alive. He's alive. Uh, he has raised. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Il est vivant. Il est vivant. Il est ressuscité. And in French we say, Qui Jésus? In, a, in English we will, we, we will answer, Who? Jesus our Savior. We, we, we start with French. Il est vivant. Il est ressuscité. Qui? 
Jesus is alive. He is alive. Jesus. You. Jesus. Our Savior. Clap for that Jesus. He is our Savior. Celebrate Easter 2021 with a big shout and say, no, 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 no. As loud as you can. Amen, amen. Bwana ni mwema. Amen eh. Amen. So we we are going to listen to the word. Uh, it will not wonder you to have me in French and in English because of uh, the language. We need both languages. I'm, uh, I'm alone today in interpretation. We thank God in everything. Amen, eh? So our nikuwa nasema kwamba haita washangaza kunipata mimi mwenyewe leo katika matafsiri na katika mahubiri kwa lugha zote mbili sababu inaonekana niko mwenyewe leo kwa lugha Bwana awabariki Wapendwa wangu Yesu alikufa na siku ya tatu akafufuka na leo tuko tuna celebrate ufufuko wake ambao alituahidi huu linabwa kutoka kitabu kia nabii Isaya ya kwamba mkombozi atazaliwa na baada ya hapo atapanwa katika mauti lakini kwa siku ya tatu atafufuka na leo tuko tuna celebrate ufufuko wa Yesu ndani ya mwaka wa makumi mbili, makumi mbili na moja mwezi wa ine, tarehe ine. Tumuchapia Yesu big makofi na vigelegele tuseme amen. I was saying that we are celebrating Easter 2021 the resurrection of Jesus which was prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah prophesied about the birth of Jesus and his crucifixion and resur resurrection it was it, it it was meant he was meant to die because of our sins so and today the the fourth date of uh, april we are celebrating his resurrection from the tomb hallelujah amen so we are actually our subject we are talking about is, it is easter as uh, you know easter we just want to to know what easter is before we know what we celebrate in easter tunataka tujue easter ni nini na nyuma yapo tutajua tunasherekea nini wakati wa easter haiko vile Easter is a celebration of resurrection of Christ from the tomb on the third day after crucifixion. Easter is the fulfillment of prophecy of, my, of Messiah who was prophesied to be, back, to be born in the book of Isaiah. And uh, in Isaiah 53, the Bible says that uh, he would be persecuted. He, be, he would be persecuted. Jesus, who was prophesied to be born in Isaiah chapter 7, he was prophesied to be crucified, to go to be hung on the cross in Isaiah 53. This was before his birth for our sins. And rise on the third day. And today we remember, oh, we are remembering the resurrection of Christ. That is a way that every Christian gets a new birth into, her, into him. Gets victory over sin into him. Hallelujah. And this is why our singer of today says, I will no longer be slave to sin. Because I am rise, I am, I am, I am raised. I am risen into Christ. Hallelujah. 
I have belonged to Christ. I'm Christ belong. Hallelujah. And that's why we have to celebrate his resurrection today in a new life, in a yes, in a new with a new beginning unto him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Easter au pasaka yenye tunaita pasaka ya Wakristo ni pasaka ambayo tunakumbuka yani mateso ya Yesu Kristo mateso kufa na kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo kutoka ndani ya tombe au katika kaburi waliomuzika maana katika kitabu kia nabii Isaya alinabwa kwamba Isaya sura saba, Isaya sura kenda ilinabwa ya kwamba mokozi atazaliwa ambaye ni Mungu pamoja na sisi ambaye atakuja kuokoa mwanadamu lakini Muizaya makumi tatu na, na makumi tano na tatu anasema ya kwamba ule ule Yesu ule ambaye atazaliwa atatolewa katika kuteswa atateswa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu alafu akisha kutolewa atakufa na atakapokufa ye masia masia muzima sababu ya dhambi zetu siku ya tatu atafufuka na leo hii dimanche tarehe ile za mwezi wa ile mwaka ishirini na ishirini na moja tunakumbuka uviktuari au ushindi wake wa kutoka kaburini ambapo alitingiza ulimwengu wote kwa ufufuko wake na njoo kwa maana adui anaisimama ndani ya maisha yako kwa ufufuko wa Kristo ndani ya maisha yako anakwenda kutingizika leo sema he has a reason you, you said with me he has a reason amen amen useme amefufuka Yesu amefufuka Yesu yes normalement ukienda mu nouveau testament ukienda mu nouveau testament au mwagano la agano jipya Easter au pasaka ni kusema siku tatu kisha kufufuka kwa kisha kifo kwa Yesu Kristo siku tatu iko pasaka ni kusema siku tatu kisha kifo kwa Yesu Kristo kumsalaba ambao ni ufufuko unasikia njo ile njo pasaka katika lugha ya Kiebrania iko interpreted maana Biblia ilikuwa interpreted kutoka mu lugha ambayo sio Kiingereza mu Kiebrania alafu i'm saying this actually in the new testament easter the meaning of easter is coming from the hebrew word which means the three days after the death of jesus on the cross and the resurrection which which is meant the resurrection of christ Amen, eh? Amen. So we are only going to base ourselves on the Easter of Christians. We are not going in the Easter of pagan because there are there are many Easter's into the world. Like there are so many Jesus in the world, but every Jesus is not Christ. Kuna wa, wa kuna mapasaka mingi ndani ya ulimwengu. Kuna mbao wanaita wapasaka wa Yahudi, wapasaka wa nani, wapasaka wa nani, lakini si tuna celebrate pasaka Yesu Kristo. Na njoo kwa maana ndani ya ulimwengu utakutana watu wengine wana celebrate mayai, wana celebrate kuku, wana celebrate paka, wana celebrate nani, e, nani wanaita sungura ambayo ni, pa, ni pasaka ya wapagani. Na pia kama vile kuna Yesu wa Yesu wengi ndani ya ulimwengu kuna wengi ambao ni wa Yesu lakini haweko wa Kristo haiko haweko Kristo kuna Yesu mmoja ambaye ni Kristo yeye ni Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu ambaye tunaye muamini aliyekufa na kufufuka there are so many pa, eh, 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 so many easter and these so many easters a time you will find in the whole world other people other easter like Ju, the, 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 the easter the easter of Jews and the easter of other nations and uh, some of them many of them they celebrate at the same time trying to forge the Christ the the, the, the Easter of Christ and uh, at the same time we see in that particular area of context we find some other people pagan pagan Easter or paganic Easter we find people celebrating 
with rats, with eggs, with uh, whatever you name it. But when you ask these particular people, do you know about Jesus? They don't believe in Jesus. But then celebrate Easter, what they call the Easter of Jews, the, their Easter, the Paganic Easter. The Easter which is celebrated with eggs, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, how do we, say, we, do we call it, with, uh, with, uh, with chicken and so many other symbols, you know, in this new modern, in the modern world, they are celebrating. It is not Easter of Jesus Christ. The, rest, the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ. It is Paganic Easter. Because there are, as there are so many Jesus, but all of them, they are not Christ. I, I think you have heard about so many, a number, a, a number of, of, of Jesus. But all of those Jesus, they are not Christ. We have only Christ, one Jesus Christ who dead, was born and dead. And today we are celebrating his Easter of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's take the book of Mark chapter 16 before we, we climb to the mountain. Take the book of Mark chapter 16 and 7. Marco 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 The Gospel of Mark is not a, a normal book like the other books. The four gospels they are gospel, they are not books. The gospel of Matthew, of Mark, of Luke and John, they are gospel, they are not books, they are gospel. We take the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verse 4, verse 6 to 7. Tunakamata, kita nani injili ya Marko sura yake ya kumina sita. Na tunakamata mustari wake wa sita. Tunashimamia kumustari wake wa saba. Apo tutashimamia hapo kabisa. Hatutaenda sana tutashimamia hapo. We not go further, but we will stand from there. There is a, an amazing word we are going to read there. So, I'm going to read in, a, in a Swahili, and brother, you prepare to read in English. Amen, eh? Biblia nasema muki Swahili hivi, Marko sura kumina sita, mustari wati wa sita, mpaka wa saba. Inasema hivi. Tusume kwa jina la Yesu, mungo tayari. Naye aliwambia, musi shangai. Muna tafuta Yesu wa Nazareti. Alie sulubiwa, amekwisha kufufuka na huyo hapa. Tazama pahali ambapo walimuweka. Lakini kwendeni muka waambia wanafunzi wake pamoja na Petro. Na kwamba, ya kwamba, amewatangulia watang, ame kwenda Galilaya. Mutamuona kule kama alivyo waambia ninyi amena. Amen, amen. amen. So, you. In, uh, weeks, yes. Mark 16, uh, 67. Yes. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they lay him. Mm. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Mm. Just as he told you. Yes. Amen, amen. amen. But we take another book in Luke, in the, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 2 to, to 3. Luka mate kitabu kingine kia injili ya Luka, sura ya kia 24, mustari wa pili, pia tuishie kumustari wa kia watatu. Lafu, tusikie mandiko matakatifu, inasema nini? Tuko mwabari ya pasaka. 
Usikie inasema nini? E, sura yake ya 24 au 24 mstari wa pili mpaka wa tatu wa injili ya Luka inasema hivi tusome katika jina la Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Mko tayari? Biblia inasema hivi. Wakaona jiwe limefiringishwa mbali na kaburi. Afu wakaangalia. Lakini hawakuona mwili wa Bwana Yesu Kristo. Amen. Yeah, mm. mm. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Mm. But when they enter they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen. So, kabla tuingilia ili neno tuone kwanza, ala watu wa wili ambao vivilia na sema ya kwamba, wakaenda kwenye kaburi, wakaona, wakakutana, Yesu amekwisha kufufuka eti ona mahali ambapo alikuwa. Alikuwa nani na nani? Vile nasema alikuwa Maria Magdalena na Maria mwenzake. Mama yake ya Yesu. Tunaelewana sisi watu wapendwa. Wa Maria wawili ambao walienda kaburini. Walitokea wapi? Walitokea kukikundi kia wa mama ambao walikesha kwa ajili ya kufufuka kuchunga ufufuko wake Yesu Kristo. Hawa wa mama wili walikuwa wa shujaa ambao waliteremka kwenda kuona kaburi la Yesu kwenye walizika Yesu. Mm. Walikwenda kuona sababu wali ya 